Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One and today we are reviewing the RX400 series on their Ethereum performance. Well, we're gonna start off with the RX460 and go up to the highest card. So the first card of this series is the RX460. This one is the most lowest price at, at $150. It has a core clock of 1175 MHz and a boost clock of 1250 MHz. On the memory clock perhaps we have a 7000 MHz core clock and it only uses 75 watts and it hashes at about 10 MHz per second. That's an very impressive 7.5 watts per mega hash. So the next card is the RX470. This one comes at a price of $255 at the current moment and I took the MSI one out of it. It has a core clock speed of 1254 MHz but I can't find the boost clock so I'm not sure about that one. But the memory clock of an RX470 is a stunning 8000 MHz and it consumes 150 watts and hashes at a 25 mega hashes per second steady. So that's only 6 watts per mega hash. This one makes out one of the best cards there out so far and this one is definitely the one you should take. And finally we have the RX 480, the card everyone expected to be the best Ethereum card. But for my opinion this card is not the best because it comes at a high price of $325 average and a core clock speed of 1208 MHz and a boost clock of 1342 MHz. But this one also has a memory clock of 8000 MHz. But why you think isn't this the best card? Well, because first of all it uses 225 watts just to hash at about 25 mega hashes per second. But some people uh, told me and I've seen some results on websites that it can hash above 30 mega hashes per second. But still it would come out at a 9 watts per mega hash or the most efficient 7 0.5 watts per mega hash. So, for my opinion, the RX 470 wins with the 6 watts per mega hash and it's a very cheap card. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys on the next one.